through these double doors. Here are some zombies. I don't think there's anything of interest in that room. And this is where that small door leads. Into this piano room and into a small chapel. Which is also a save room. There's something sparkly. Oh. Okay, the music just stopped. Something terrible may have happened. Okay, we'll leave this here and here. This too. We may bring the mine thrower around for a little bit. Here is the clock tower key. Basil key, a key ornamented with a clock part. But we can combine these, no. This is the wrong object to place in that key. Um, I may have a few inventory slots for the next few bits. And zombies. And I'm a bit out of position. Let's reset them. Okay, let's get into a better camera angle. Are we done? Perfect. Okay, let's head up to the second floor. Oh, by the way, was that the right file? It was. Perfect. And here are some giant spiders. If you kill one, then a lot of spiderlings burst out. And over here we have... Oh, some more red herbs. Nice, very nice. And now we can go all the way to the clock tower. Because here... There's a keyhole. And we can use the basil key. Okay, discard the key. And now we can go up. Okay, here is a save room too. With a lot of stuff in it. Uh, let's take care of these red herbs. There we go. And bring the mine thrower again. Here are some mine thrower rounds. And here is a silver gear. We can't do much with the silver gear, so we'll just store it for now. Speaking of gears... Here are some. And there's a gear uh, missing in the middle. That's where the silver one comes in, but uh, it won't do anything on its own. And here is a music box with elaborate ornamentation. There are switches marked A to F. And yes, we will operate the switches. Okay, now, uh, this music sounds familiar, it's the same from the music boxes. And the ornamentations in the lids actually means up or down. And, uh, well, the correct combination is the one where the music plays perfectly, so... Okay, these two are done. Up, down, up, and up down 
up. Okay, so you, you don't really need to listen to the music boxes, you just need to have a, a, some good sense of music, good ear to know if, the, if uh, this is correct or not. And there we go. And my oh my, what's that in there? Kronos Chain. Okay, so remember that door that was locked and said that uh, the God of Time was etched under the keyhole? Well, surprise, surprise, we got the Kronos Chain. However, a chain won't open a door. However, you can combine the chain with this key and get the Kronos Key. And there you have it. Oh, I'll definitely need three inventory slots for this. Okay, let's leave the mine thrower. Okay, go down the ladder. And surprise, surprise! Here's Nemesis again. He found us. Okay, now we can blind him with a light and escape, or electrocute him. And if we electrocute him, uh, it counts as him um, as we killing him. So he drops something. The Eagle Parts B. Uh, should we head upstairs? Not really. Okay, he's still after us. Let's unlock this door. Okay, we no longer need the key. We may discard it. Oh, there he is. Okay, now we can combine the eagle parts A and B and make the eagle, C eagle 6.0, which is a handgun. I believe the difference, uh, I think it has a higher crit chance, so it may, it may just headshot a zombie on occasion. And it just looks cool, with the scope and all. So oh, is he still here? God damn it, Nemesis, leave me alone. Just want to walk around and solve puzzles. Okay, this guy has some grenade rounds. And there's a spider. Am I poisoned? No, perfect. Okay, here is Mercenary's pocketbook. And there we go. Okay, now you may remember these clocks from the postcard that we got earlier and here we have an ember ball and an obsidian ball and a crystal ball now the thing here is there are um, well these three balls have different weights and um, there are three trays in those paintings with the clocks and uh, we have to place the, the, the balls in such a way that um, 
well, that um, they... Well, I'll just explain it uh, by doing it. When you place the, the ball on the tray, the clock moves forward or backwards, depending on... Well, not depending on the weight. Depending on the weight, it may move more or less. And we need to aim for a certain time. Present goddess. There's a tray under the picture. And over here we have some more mine throw arounds. And here is a spare bell for the clock tower. But it would take an incredible strength to move it. Okay, so the thing is... Let's see, I think that file... Give your soul to the goddess, put your hands together to pray before her. On these postcards, all of the clocks um, are on 12. But this one is on 7, so I think that's what we need to do. We need to make it 12 past goddess, future goddess. Okay, let's see, if we place the ember ball on this tray, the clock goes back three hours. If we place the obsidian ball, it goes back two. And if we place the crystal ball, it goes back one. Okay, in this one, if we place the amber ball, the clock goes forwards three hours. If we place the obsidian ball, just two, I think. Yep, and the crystal ball should only be one. Let's make sure. Yeah. Okay, but the last... I think the last one works a bit differently. Let's see, placing the ember ball... It goes forward six hours. So it goes double. So if it's double, the obsidian one should go forward four. Yeah, perfect. And the crystal should go forward two. There we go. Okay, so now we know the different values. Let's try and figure this out. So, uh, let's see. We have seven o'clock here. If we go... If we go back three... Ah, uh, no, but that, that wouldn't work. If we go back two and go forward one... Yeah, that might work. If we go back two... Go forwards one... And then, since this is double, we go forwards six. There you go. And now we have the gold gear. Okay, now we can leave.